first introduction. Welcome to MSBT Help YouTube channel. We share on our channel study material, lab manual answers, learning video, micro project, MCQ SETC. Join our Telegram channel for more MSBT update and study help. Telegram https colon slash slash t me d e l l c l a s s e s that is our username follow us on facebook and instagram links are provided in description for watching video in quality use chrome keep quality at highest level today's session is mcq on MSBTEI Scheme Practice MCQs of Element of Electrical Engineering 22215 Transformer and DC Motor 1. Which of the following is minimized by laminating the core for electrical transformers? Hysteresis loss 2. Eddy current loss 3. Heat loss 4. All of the above Answer 2. 2. The function of breather in electrical transformers is to provide oxygen to the cooling oil. 2. To provide calling air. 3. To arrest flow of moisture when outside air enters the transformer. 4. To filter the transformer oil. Answer 3. 3. Iron loss in a transformer occurs in 1. Ca. 2. Winding. 3. Insulating oil. 4. Main body. Answer. 1. 4. Under no load conditions, which of the following loss is negligible? 1. Hysteresis loss. 2. Eddy current loss. 3. Copper loss. 4. All losses have same magnitude. Answer. 3. 5. Open circuit test of our electrical transformers gives. 1. Hysteresis loss. 2. Eddy current loss. 3. Sum of hysteresis and eddy current loss. Loss. 4. Copper loss. Answer. 3. 6. Copper loss in our electrical transformers occurs in. 1. Ca. 2. Winding. 3. Main body. 4. Bushings. Answer. 2. 7. Which test of a transformer provides information about regulation, efficiency and heading? Under load conditions. 1. Open circuit test. 2. Back-to-back -back test. 3. Hopkinson test. 4. Short circuit test. Answer. 2. 8. For a transformer, the condition for maximum efficiency is. 1. Hysteresis loss equals eddy current loss. 2. Core loss equals hysteresis loss. 3. Copper loss equals iron loss. 4. Total loss equals two thirds of copper loss. Answer 3. 9. Eddy current losses in a transformer core can be reduced by 1. Reducing the thickness of laminations. 2. Increasing the thickness of laminations. 3. Increasing the air gap in the magnetic circuit. 4. Reducing the air gap in the magnetic circuit. Answer. 1. 10. When ours is the resistance of secondary winding of the transformer and K is the transformation ratio, the equivalent secondary resistance is referred to primary side as given by 1. K. R squared 2. K squared. R's. 3. R's K. 4. R's K squared. Answer. 4. 11. In a transformer, the magnetic coupling between the primary and secondary circuit can be increased by 1. Increasing the number of turns. 2. Using soft material for windings. 3. Using the magnetic core of low reluctance. 4. Using transformer oil for better quality. Answer. 3. 12. If flux density in the core of the electrical transformers are increased. 
1. Fluency on secondary winding will change. 2. Wave shape on secondary side will be distorted. 3. Size of the transformer will be reduced. 4. 4. Eddy current losses will reduce. Answer 3. 13. Which loss in a transformer varies significantly with load? 1. Hysteresis loss. 2. Eddy current loss. 3. Copper loss. 4. Core loss. Answer 314. Voltage remaining constant, if the frequency is increased then. 1. Eddy current loss will decrease. 2. Hysteresis losses will decrease. 3. Eddy current losses will remain unchanged. 4. Hysteresis losses will remain unchanged. Answer 3. 15. The power factor of a transformer. 1. Is always unity. 2. Is always leading. 3. Is always lagging. 4. Depends on power factor of the load. Answer 4. DC motor MCQ. 1. Brushes of DC motors are made of 1. Carbon. 2. Soft carbon. 3. Hard carbon. 4. Aluminium. Answer 1. 2. Armature reaction of an unsaturated DC machine is 1. Cross magnetizing. 2. Demagnetizing. 3. Magnetizing. 4. None of the above. Answer 1. 3. Eddy current are induced in the pole shoes of a DC machine due to 1. Oscillating magnetic field. 2. Pulsating magnetic flux. 3. Relative rotation between field and armature. 4. None of the above. Answer 1. 4. In a DC machine, short circuited field coil will result in 1. Order of bearing insulation. 2. Unbalanced magnetic pull producing vibrations. 3. Reduction of generated voltage for which excitation has to be increased to maintain the voltage. 4. All of the above. Answer 4. 5. In a DC machine, fractional pitch winding is used. 1. To increase the generated voltage. 2. To reduce sparking. 3. To save copper because of short end connection. 4. Due to both 2 and 3. Answer 4. 6. A DC motor is used in industrial application because it blank 1. Is cheap. 2. Is simple in construction. 3. Provide fine speed control. 4. None of the above. Answer 3. 7. The field poles and armature of a DC machine are laminated to blank. 1. Reduce the weight of the machine. 2. Decrease the speed. 3. Reduce eddy currents. 4. Reduce armature reaction. Answer 3. 8. The back EMF in a DC motor, blank. 1. Opposes the applied voltage. 2. Aids the applied voltage. 3. Aids the armature current. 4. None of the above. Answer. 1. 9. The value of back A. M. F in a DC motor is maximum at blank. 1. No load. 2. Full load. 3. Half load. 4. None of the above. Answer. 1. 1. Oh, the motor equation is given by. 1. V equals E flat, IRA. 2. V equals E flat plus IRA. 3. E flat equals IRA, V. 4. None of the above. Answer, 2. 11. The fully loaded current of a 20 HP 500 volts DC motor will be closer to. 1. 100 A. 2. 60 A. 3. 35 A. 4. 15 A. Answer, 3. 12. The speed of a DC motor can be varied by varying. 1. Field current. 2. Applied voltage. 3. Resistance in series with armature.
4. Any of the above. Answer, 4. 13. In a DC motors, the conditions for maximum power is. 1. Supply voltage equals 1 half times back A. M. F. 2. Supply voltage equals square root 2 times back A. M. F. 3. Back A. M. F equals 2 times supply voltage. 4. Back A. M. F equals 1 half times supply voltage. Answer. 414. If conditions for maximum power for a DC motor are established, the efficiency of the motor will be 1. 100%, 2. 90 95%, 3. 81%, 4. Less than 50%. Answer 4. 15. When the speed of a DC motor increases, its armature current, blank. 1. Increases. 2. Decreases. 3. Remains constant. 4. None of the above. Answer. 2. 16. The amount of back A. M. F of a shunt motor will increase when, blank. 1. The load is increased. 2. The field is weakened. 3. The field is strengthened. 4. None of the above. Answer. 3. 17. The speed of a DC motor is, blank. 1. Directly proportional to flux per pole. 2. Inversely proportional to flux per pole. 3. Inversely proportional to applied voltage. 4. None of the above. Answer. 2. 18. A 200 volts DC machine has an armature resistance of 0. 0.5 ohms. If the full armature current is 30. A. The induced A. M. F. When the machine acts as I generator E. Motor. Will be. 1. 170 volts. 230 volts. 2. 175 volts. 225 volts. 3. 185 volts. 215 volts. 4. 215 volts, 185 volts. Answer, 4. 19. The ratio of starting torque to fully load torque is least in case of. 1. Shunt motors. 2. Series motors. 3. Compound motors. 4. Differential compound motor. Answer, 1. 20. The speed of DC motor is. 1. Always constant. 2. Directly proportional to back A. M. F. 3. Directly proportional to flux. 4. Inversely proportional to the product of back A. M. F and flux. Answer. 2. MSBTAI scheme practice MCQs of element of electrical. Engineering 22215. Unit 3. Polyphase AC circuits. Q1. Power in a three-phase circuit equals, blank. 1. P equals 3 VPH if cos F. 2. P equals square root 3 VLE il cos F. 3. Both 1 and 2. 4. None of the above. Answer. 3. Both 1 and 2. Q2. A polyphase system is generated by underscore, blank. 1. Having two or more generator windings separated by equal electrical angle. 2. Having generator windings at equal distances. Distances. 3. None of the above. 4. A and C. Answer. 1. Having two or more generator windings separated by equal electrical angle. Q3. In a three-phase AC circuit, the sum of all three generated voltages is, blank. 1. Infinite, infinity. 2. 0, 0. 3. 1, 1. 4. None of the above. Answer. 2. 0, 0. Q4. For a star-connected three-phase AC circuit. 1. 
Phase voltage is equal to line voltage and phase current is 3 times the line current. 2. Phase voltage is square root 3 times line voltage and phase current is equal to line current. 3. Phase voltage is equal to line voltage and line current is equal to phase current. 4. None of the above. Answer. 2. Phase voltage is square root 3 times line voltage and phase current is equal to line current. Q5. In a three phase delta connection. 1. Line current is equal to phase current. 2. Line voltage is equal to phase voltage. 3. None of the above. 4. Line voltage and line current is 0. Answer. 2. Line voltage is equal to phase voltage. Q6. For a star connection network, consuming power of 1. 8 kilowatts and power factor 0. 5. The inductance and resistance of each coil at a supply voltage of 230 volts, 60 hertz as blank. 1. 0. 1 H, 8 ohms 2. 0. 5 H, 10 ohms. 3. 0. 3 H, 7. 4 ohms. 4. 1 H, 7 ohms. Answer. 3. 0. 3 H, 7. 4 ohms. Q7. For a three-phase delta connected load, fed from a star connected network, the power transferred to the load is blank. Star to delta and delta to star MCQs. 1. 3 kilowatts. 2. 4. 7 kilowatts. 3. 5 kilowatts. 4. 7 kilowatts. Answer. 2. 4. 7 kilowatts. Q8. In a three-phase AC circuit, power is measured using a wattmeter. 1. True. 2. False. Answer. 1. True. Q9. Q9. For a polyphase system, the number of wattmeter required to measure power is equal to 1. Number of wires. 2. 1 less than number of wires. 3. Number of phases. 4. None of the above. Answer. 2. 1 less than number of wires. Q10. For the below star connected network of equal resistances, if the wattmeter reading is 5 kilowatts and ammeter reading is 25 amperes, the power factor, resistance and inductance are blank, respectively. Wattmeter star delta MCQS 5 kW resistor inductor capacitance 1, 1, 5 ohms, 0, 1 H, 2, 0, 866, 8 ohms, 0, 0, 2 H, 3, 5, 10 ohms, 0, 0, 1 H, 4, ohms, 0, 0, 2 H, answer, 2, 0, 866, 8 ohms, 0, 0, 2 H, Q11, for a three phase, three wire system, the two wattmeter read 4000 watts and 2000 watts respectively. The power factor when both meters give direct reading is blank. 1, 1, 2, 0, 5, 3, 0, 866, 4, 0, 6. Answer, 3, 0, 866. Q12. For a balanced three-phase, three-wire system with input power of 10 kilowatts, at 0. 0.9 power factor, 
The readings on both watt meter are respectively 1 7 kilowatts 3 kilowatts 2 6350w 3650w 3 5000w 5000w 4 7600w 120w answer 2 6350w 3650w q13 a polyphase system is generated by 1. Having two or more generator windings separated by equal electrical angle. 2. Having generator windings at equal distances. 3. None of the above. 4. A and C. Answer. 1. Q14. In a three-phase AC circuit, the sum of all three generated voltages is 1. Infinite. 2. 0. 3. 1. 4. None of the above. Answer. 2. Q15. For a star connected three phase AC circuit. 1. Phase voltage is equal to line voltage and phase current is three times the line current. 2. Phase voltage is square root three times line voltage and phase current is equal to line current. 3. Phase voltage is equal to line voltage and line current is equal to phase current. 4. None of the above. Answer. 2. Q16. In a three-phase, delta connection. 1. Line current is equal to phase current. 2. Line voltage is equal to phase voltage. 3. None of the above. 4. Line voltage and line current is zero answer. 2. Q17. For a star connection network, consuming power of 1. 8 kilowatts and power factor 0. 5. The. Inductance and resistance of each coil at a supply voltage of 230 volts, 60 hertz is. 1. 0. 0. 1 H, 8 ohms. 2. 0. 0. 5 H, 10 ohms. 3. 0. 0 3 H 7 4 ohms 4 1 H 7 ohms answer 3 Q18 for a three phase delta connected load fed from a star connected network the power transferred to the load is underscore phase delta connected load fed from star connected network 1 3 kilowatts 2 7 kilowatts 3. 5 kilowatts. 4. 7 kilowatts. Answer. 2. Q19. In a three-phase AC circuit, power is measured using a wattmeter. 1. True. 2. False. Answer. 1. Q20. For a polyphase system, the number of wattmeter required to measure power is equal. 2. 1. Number of wires 2. 1 less than number of wires. 3. Number of phases. 4. None of the above. Q21. For the below star connected network of equal resistances, if the wattmeter reading is 5 kilowatts and ammeter reading is 25 amperes, the power factor, resistance and inductances respectively star connected network of equal resistances 1 1 5 ohms 0 1 h 2 0 866 8 ohms 0 0 2 h 3 0 5 10 ohms 0 0 1 h 4 0 4 8 ohms 0 0 2 h Therefore, inductance, L equals 0. 0 to H. Q22. For a three-phase, three-wire system, the two wattmeter read 4000 watts and 2000 watts respectively. The power factor when both meters give direct reading is 1, 1, 2, 0, 5, 3, 0, 866, 4. 0. 6. Answer. 3. Q23. For a balanced three-phase, 
three wire system with input power of 10 kilowatts at 0 9 power factor the readings on both watt meter are respectively 1 7 kilowatts 3 kilowatts 2 6 3 5 o w 3 6 5 o w 3 5 thousand w 5 thousand w 4 7 6 o w 1 2 o w answer 2 q 24 in a three-phase induction motor, the electrical energy supplied to the stator windings is converted to mechanical energy in form of rotating rotor windings. 1. True. 2. False. Answer. 1. Q25. The name of the induction motor comes from the fact that 1. Operation of the motor depends upon the induced voltage in the stator. Two. Operation of the motor depends upon the value of coil windings. 3. Operation of the motor depends upon the induced voltage in the rotor conductors. 4. None of these. Answer. 3. Q26. An induction motor is 1. Self-starting. 2. Requires external supply. 3. A or C. 4. None of these. 1. Q27. Slip of an induction motor lies between 1. 0 to 10 percent. 2. 0 to 400 rpm. 3. 0 to 5 percent. 4. 0 to 4000 rpm. Answer. 3. Q28. In a three-phase induction motor, frequency of the rotor current is 1. Equal to the supply frequency. 2. Proportional to the slip and supply frequency. 3. Equal to the one less than supply frequency. 4. Equal to the synchronous speed. Answer. 2. Cage induction motor. The rotor slots are. 1. Placed in line with the rotor shaft. 2. Skewed at a certain angle to the rotor shaft. 3. Parallel to the rotor shaft. 4. None of these. Answer. 2. Q30. In a slip ring induction motor, external resistors are connected in the rotor circuit. True. 2. False. Answer. 1. Q31. Rotor induced EMF is nearly of maximum value. 1. 5%. 2. 20%. 3. 15%. 4. 10%. Answer. 2. Q32. The torque, slip characteristics for an induction motor is a curve because 1. For small values of slip, torque is directly proportional. 2. For larger values of slip, torque is inversely proportional. 3. Both are and C. 4. None of these. Answer. 3. Q33. For an 8-pole induction motor supplied with power by a 6-pole alternator at 1200 revolutions per minute, the value of motor speed at slip of 3% is 1. 800 rpm. 2. 400 rpm. 3. 873 rpm. 4. 900 rpm. 873 rpm loading msbtei scheme practice mcqs of element of electrical engineering 22215 all chapter mcq unit 2 ac fundamentals the power consumed in a circuit element will be least when the phase difference between the current and voltage is A. 180 degrees B. 90 degrees C. 60 degrees D. 0 degrees 2. Form factor is the ratio of A. Average value R. M. S. Value B. Average value Peak value C. R. M. S. Value Average value D. R.
MSBTAI Scheme Practice MCQs of Element of Electrical Engineering 22215 Unit 1 Magnetic Circuits 1 1. What is a permeable substance? A. Any good conductor. B. Any bad conductor. C. Any strong magnet. D. Any substance through which the magnetic lines of force can pass easily. Answer. D. 2. Materials having good retentivity are. A. Strong magnets. B. Weak magnets. C. Temporary magnets. D. Permanent magnets. Answer. D. 3. Magnetic field exists along which of the following? A. Moving charges. B. Stationary charges. C. Copper. D. Iron. Answer. A. 4. Magnetomotive force is equal to underscore blank. A. Current asterisk number of turns. B. Current number of turns. C. Current number of turns per unit length. D. Current asterisk number of turns per unit length. Answer. A. 5. Unit of MMF is blank. A. Upper meter. A. Upper meter. B. AM. C. A. D. Unatlas sensor. C. 6. When a bar magnet is broken into two pieces, which of the following are true? A. The magnet loses its magnetism. B. The magnet has only north pole left. C. The magnet has only south pole left. D. The magnet turns into two new bar magnets. Answer. D. 7. When an electric current flows into the page, what is the direction of the magnetic field? A. Clockwise. B. Anticlockwise. C. Cannot be determined. D. Parallel to the current. Answer. A. 8. When an electric current flows out of the page, what is the direction of the magnetic field? A. Clockwise. B. Anticlockwise cannot be determined. D. Parallel to the current. Answer. B. 9. The relation between the direction of current and the direction of magnetic field is A. Same direction. B. Opposite direction. C. Perpendicular. D. Unrelated. Answer. C. Part 2. 1. What is the unit for relative permeability? A. Hm. B. H per meter. C. H2 per meter. D. No unit. Answer. D. 2. Which of the following expressions is correct with respect to relative permeability? A. B equals micro R micro 0 H. B. B equals micro R micro 0 H. C. B equals micro R micro 0 H. D. B equals micro R micro 0 H2. Answer. B. 3. A substance whose relative permeability is less than the permeability of free space is A. Diamagnetic B. Paramagnetic C. Ferromagnetic D. Not a magnetic substance Answer. A. 4. A substance whose relative permeability is more than the permeability of free space is A. Diamagnetic B. Paramagnetic. C. Ferromagnetic. D. Both paramagnetic and ferromagnetic. Answer. D. 5. Diamagnetic substances have relative permeability underscore blank. A. Greater than 1. B. Less than 1. C. Equal to 1. D. 0. Answer. B. 6. Paramagnetic substances have relative permeability underscore blank. A. Greater than 1. B. Less than 1. C. Equal to 1. D. 0. 
Answer A. 7. As the temperature increases up to the Curie temperature, the relative susceptibility of ferromagnetic materials A. Increases B. Decreases remains constant D. Becomes zero Answer A. 8. As the temperature increases beyond the Curie temperature, the relative susceptibility of ferromagnetic materials A. Increases B. Decreases C. Remains constant D. Becomes zero Answer B. Part 3. 1. The reciprocal of reluctance is blank A. Permeance B. Susceptibility C. Resistance D. Conductance Answer A. 3. Reluctance is blank to the area of cross-section the material. A. Directly proportional. B. Inversely proportional. C. Not related. D. Equal. Answer. B. 4. When the length of the material increases, what happens to reluctance? A. Increases. B. Decreases. Remains the same. D. Becomes zero. Answer. A. 5. When the area of cross-section of the material increases, what happens to reluctance? A. Increases. A. Increases. B. Decreases. C. Remains the same. D. Becomes zero. Answer. B. 6. Unit of reluctance is. A. A. W. B. B. A. 2 per Weber. C. W. B. A. D. A. per Weber. Answer. D. 7. The electrical equivalent of reluctance is. A. Resistance. B. Inductance. Capacitance. D. Conductance. Answer. A. 8. As the magnetic field strength increases, reluctance. A. Increases. B. Decreases. C. Remains the same. D. Becomes zero. Answer. A. 9. As the magnetic flux density increases, the reluctance, blank. A. Increases. B. Decreases. C. Remains the same. D. Becomes zero. Answer. B. 10. Calculate the reluctance when the magnetomotive force is 10 A turns and the flux is 5 Weber's. 8 0. 5 A W B B 5 A per Weber. C 10 A per Weber. D 2 A per Weber. Answer. D. Part 4. 1. Ohm's law for magnetic circuits is blank. A. F equals phi S. B. F equals phi S. C. F equals phi 2 S. D. F equals phi S2. Answer. A. 2. What happens to the MMF when the magnetic flux decreases? A. Increases. B. Decreases. C. Remains constant. D. Becomes zero. Answer. B. 3. Calculate the MMF when the magnetic flux is 5 Weber's and the reluctance is 3A per Weber. A. 10 at. B. 10 N. C. 15 N. D. 15 at. Answer. D. 4. A ring having a cross-sectional area of 500 square millimeters, a circumference of 400 millimeters N. Phi equals 800 microbe has a coil of 200 turns wound around it. Calculate the flux density of the ring. A. 1. 6 T. B. 2. 6 T. C. 3. 6 T. D. 4. 6 T. Answer. A. 5. A ring having a cross-sectional area of 500 square millimeters. A circumference of 400 millimeters and phi equals 800 microbe has a coil of 200 turns wound around it. The relative permeability of ring is 380. Calculate the reluctance. A. 1. 
68 asterisk 10 to 4 a per weber b 1 68 asterisk 104 a per weber c 1 68 asterisk 106 a per weber d 1 68 asterisk 10 to 6 a per weber answer c 6 a ring having a cross sectional area of 500 square millimeters a circumference of 400 millimeters and phi equals 800 microbe has a coil of 200 turns wound around it relative permeability of ring is 380 calculate the magnetomotive force a 1442 at b 1342 at c 1432 at d 1344 at answer d 7 a ring having a cross sectional area of 500 square millimeters a circumference of 400 millimeters and phi equals 800 microbe has a coil of 200 turns wound around it relative permeability of ring is 380 calculate the magnetizing current a 6 7 a b 7 7 a c 7 6 d 6 1 a answer a 8 can we apply Kirchhoff's law to magnetic circuits? A. Yes. B. No. C. Depends on the circuit. D. Insufficient information provided. Answer. A. 9. What is MMF? A. Magnetic machine force. B. Magnetomotive force. C. Magnetic motion force. D. Magnetomotion force. Answer. B. 10. The equivalent of the current I in magnetic ohm's law is. A. Flux. B. Reluctance. C. MMF. D. Resistance. Answer. A. Part 5. 1. The BH characteristics can be determined using. Blank. A. Ammeter. B. Flux meter. C. Voltmeter. D. Multimeter. Answer. B. 2. The BH curve can be used to determine. A. Iron loss. B. Hysteresis loss. C. Voltage loss. D. Eddy current loss. Answer. B. 3. The BH ratio is not constant for. Blank. A. Di. A. Diamagnetic materials. B. Ferromagnetic materials. B. Ferromagnetic materials. C. Paramagnetic materials. D. Non magnetic materials. Answer B. 4. When using a flux meter, if the flux changes from phi to phi, what happens to the current? A. Becomes zero. B. Becomes infinity. C. Remains the same. D. Reverses. Answer. D. 5. Why is the coil of a ballistic galvanometer wound on a non-metallic former? A. To minimize damping when high resistance is connected in series. B. To maximize damping when high resistance is connected in series, to minimize damping when high resistance is connected in parallel. D. To maximize damping when high resistance is connected in parallel. Answer. A. 6. The ballistic galvanometer is usually lightly damped so that, blank. A. It can oscillate. B. It will remain stable. C. Amplitude of the first swing is very large. D. Amplitude of the first swing is very small. Answer. C. 7. PMMC instruments can be used as a flex meters by, blank. A. Using a low resistance shunt. B. Removing the control spring. C. Making the control springs having a large moment of inertia. D. Using a high resistance in series. Answer. B.
b 8 hysteresis loss is determined from blank a b h curve a b h b curve c b h curve d b 2 h curve answer c 9 what is a pmmc instrument a permanent moving magnet coil instrument b permanent machine magnet coil instrument c permanent moving machine coil instrument d premature moving magnet coil instrument answer a 10 b h curve shows the relationship between a magnetic field strength and magnetic flux b magnetic field strength and magnetic flux density c current and magnetic flux density d voltage and magnetic flux density answer b